Hey cashers, Derek here at Baker Six Clan. Today we're gonna fix a gadget cache that I keep having overheat. So let's get started. So a while back I built this gadget and it was called Maglite. And it's been on the beta, kind of testing it on different things because I really have not been happy the way the LEDs work. And the reason is, is because it keeps overheating the battery. Now I know there is a short in the back of it and I've just been really working on trying to keep that from happening, but I haven't been able to solve the issue until last month of the month of May. And on Gadget Talk, they did a momentary switch that lit up an LED. And you know, that is what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be fixing the LEDs in this gadget cache so that it has the momentary switches so I won't have that short circuiting issue that heats up this battery where it gets very hot and can almost burn you when you touch it. So first thing I gotta do is I gotta take this apart. Okay, so now I've got the panel out. Now one part that I am gonna be reusing again is the nine volt receptacle uh, on this. Now I had thought about having the nine volt where they wouldn't have to bring in a battery, the cache finder, but I really want to be able to, the maintenance on this to be pretty fast and easy. So I'm still gonna require them to bring a nine volt battery. So this is gonna get mounted back on the new panel. Now what I'm gonna do now is get the measurements of this panel and cut out a brand new panel so we can start from scratch. Let's get started. Now let's check fit. Yep, fits perfect. So now, let's drill the holes for the toggle switches and the LED. So now I've got the panel, all the switches are in, the battery receptacles in, the LEDs in, but I haven't started wiring the back yet. And that's what we're gonna be doing next. We're gonna start wiring the back of this so these toggle switches will light up this LED. All right, so now the wiring is completed and it works. And let me tell you, this wiring here is so much cleaner than what it was before. Now, the other thing that I like about this is that these switches are momentary switches, which means you can flip them on and then it flips automatically to off, on, off. And that's really great because in the previous build, these switches were either on or off and they just stayed there which is great for some caches, but for this one, I think this is really a lot better because what happens when the previous cache finder leaves those switches in place and removes their battery? Well, when the next one comes back, they put the battery in and it's easy to be found. So not anymore. So that's what I really like about this one. Now, I just need to take this and mount it back into the box. All right, so now it's all back together. Everything's good to go. It's in there solid. Now I've had this battery in here for about 10, 15 minutes now, and it is still very cool to touch. So it is not going back through the circuit loop and causing it to overheat. And I really like that. Now on this cache now, you're gonna have to use multiple hands to get these switches to stay in place. Now, if you wanna see how those switches are wired, I really suggest you go and watch the May edition of Gadget Talk. Now, we're gonna be doing so many different other gadgets on there, and now, as of this month, I am now the new co-host for Gadget Talk. 
So go check that out. Go find out some more of these really cool gadget caches that you can build on there. Uh, Chad does a fantastic job of putting these together and I could not have fixed this issue if it was not for Gadget Talk. So go check that out. But hey, don't go anywhere. Stay around and check out another one of these videos right over here and find the story behind the cache.